Until now, the evolution of electronics has been to make things more solid, more powerful, and more robust. The longer it lasted, the better. On the other hand, maybe there are applications where you don't want it to last forever. You would like it to simply disappear without a trace. John Rogers is the nicest radical thinker you'll ever meet. As opposed to incrementally improving something that already exists, we're trying to go in a completely different direction. This different direction is something Rogers calls transient electronics. Transient electronics is really trying to flip conventional electronics on its head. It physically disappears. It is physically transient. What if anything now made of plastic and tangled in wires like a medical monitor could instead be soft, wireless, and disposable? I think we're trying to divorce electronics from the silicon wafer. The silicon wafer is today's bedrock for building circuitry. It has been a solid performer, but too solid for Rogers. So if I took this silicon wafer with the circuits right on its surface, and I basically sliced off just the circuit part, threw away the underlying wafer, I would be left with something mechanically flexible. It can bend very easily. And by thin, I mean one-tenth of a micron. That's a thousand times thinner than a human hair. So goodbye, rigid silicon wafer, and hello, silicon saran wrap. You almost have something that's like a saran wrap that can wrap around anything in any dimensions, which means any kind of product that interfaces with the human body can be envisioned. So instead of clunky hardware, Rogers can stick electronics on the body like scotch tape. This will make future medical monitors far more comfortable for future generations. John has an unusual nose and sense for inventing things that not only are practical, but can have a big impact, and you can see pretty quickly that they can translate into products. And now for his next trick. Rogers wants to make his electronics disappear for a very good reason. What we do to make the transient circuit is we take the electronic components sliced from this wafer uh, and then transferred over to this thin transparent sheet of material which is made out of purified silk derived from a silkworm cocoon. Now the entire circuit is biocompatible, even edible, so we can go inside the body far more easily without needing a second surgery to take it out. It just dissolves away. Implants that go on the brain, for example, monitor electrical activity in the context of epileptic seizure, could stimulate the brain. Same thing on the heart. It goes in the body, it uh, you know, monitors a, a wound site and monitors the healing process. But then once the wound is healed, you don't need the device. The end product is consumed uh, in the body. Transient electronics could also be useful outside the body. How about environmental monitors that you might distribute over a chemical spill site by the hundreds of thousands? The tiny monitors would wirelessly track the cleanup effort, then clean themselves up. It would be great if you could engineer them to just disappear after a certain amount of time in an environmentally benign way. With the power to disappear, transient electronics might begin to appear just about anywhere. A few people really want to keep their cell phone for 10 years or 25 years. The electronics could last that long, but you want to get an upgrade every, every two, three years. Today, discarded cell phones are hazardous waste. Rogers wonders if the electronics inside should harmlessly decompose instead. There again, this notion of dissolvable or transient electronics could be important. Even as a boy, Rogers was fascinated by the environment around him. I've been interested in nature, I mean, as long as uh, I can remember. I think I was uh, very interested in science and, and math uh, and engineering. His interests as a kid are now his strengths as a scientist. But when most people look at John, if you sit down with him for a little while, it, it takes you maybe two seconds to realize that you're with an unusually smart human being. Someone who doesn't do something incremental, but someone who does something revolutionary, not simply evolutionary and then translate that into something that is magical, you know, and that's what John does.